This is a really interesting new discovery in the field of oceanic art. For oceanic art, there hasn't been much scholarship on uh, identifying specific hands. Here, among the Masim, which are a region in the northeast part of New Guinea, you have the Trobriand Islands, which carve these wonderful lime spatulas. And there is a, one scholar called Harry Barron, who actually has studied these lime spatulas for many decades. He was able to identify several different artists. One of the most interesting in terms of the refinement is what he called the master of the prominent eyes. He wrote a whole article on this particular artist and he identified 10 works by this uh, master of the prominent eyes, all in, you know, collected early between 1890 and 1920s. This is the 11th example by the same artist. It was unpublished, it was part of a collection in Australia for many decades. We don't know where it was collected, but it's certainly a great example by this artist, which in my mind is probably the most refined in terms of the overall modeling of the figure. The details of the small pointed nose, the mouth, and the prominent eyes because they're kind of like semicircular and slightly bulging. And you have in the back, of course, the classical curve that you see all over Massim uh, sculpture, which are a signature of the style of this region. In terms of uh, a discovery, it's very exciting to be able to find suddenly out of nowhere, uh, you know, 11th work by this, uh, by this artist, which I consider certainly one of the two or three best with the famous Mutuaga, which is probably the most famous of the artists from that region.